So today I wanted to go over the assembly of the five easy piece Boeing FX1. This is the picture that Boeing published of their FX1, and this is all I basically had to go by was this. There's no other drawings, at least that I could find. So taking that, I, I was re I remarked how much this looked like Northrop's YF-23. I've already modeled that one. So I took the drawing that I had for the three view that I had for Northrop's YF-23 and I did a little sketching on it. And one thing I saw was that it looks like they have just filled in, if we, if we assume that it is basically a Northrop YF-23 that's modified, they filled this in, whereas the YF-23 comes back here to the wing root. Here there appears to be a leading edge root extension clear up to the to the nose here. So making that assumption, I drew that in in this sketch. And then I worked out the nacelles to be entirely on top of the wing as opposed to above and below like they are on the YF-23. Here's a little kind of cross-sectional sketch here when I was playing with it. Anyway, so doing that then, I started with my YF-23 pattern. You might recognize it. There's the upper upper uh, airfoil. Here's the uh, upper nacelle that just kind of fits right in there. Anyway, uh, in the finished model, I'll put up right there. It ends up being nearly flat. Just up there about, I don't know, 15, 20 degrees, something like that. Maybe I think I started out at 30 and it's a little and ended up being a little less than that. But much less than the uh, YF23 works out to be. Anyway. So that's how I arrived at it. So you have then uh, to get this interesting fuselage shape, and you have two pieces like this with tabs, and you would cut them out. And I generally start out just by taping together down the top spine. And then there's a series of, of tabs, as you can see, and those go into slots on the main wing like this. And that gets us that, that shape on, as you can see. And then these lines indicate a score fold line. What I typically do on my patterns, I put a little hole there with a pair of scissors, just like so stick my uh, ink pen or a marker through there to get that point. And by scoring the back side, not the top side, but the back side, you can bend this back. And what you essentially do before you put this on is you, you I tag that together with some pieces of tape, the two pieces, beveling from this piece on to the nose, and I bevel a little bit here. And don't worry about this other part, because I want that little gap there so I can have a place to stick some glue. But anyway, I do that, and then I fill this inside, turning it over, putting that together, I fill that inside edge here with, with glue, and I put glue in my score fold, tape it from this side, hot glue on this side. Then I literally take the piece, the two pieces that are now fastened together, and I shot fresh glue on them, and I push them down on the table like that, So it does, and then I hold this upper center part up, like a little witch's hat, basically, what I make out of it. And force it down that way. Now that's an extreme angle. Not the angle it's going to end up being. But it helps get this going like this so that it is a bent shape and then it makes it much easier then to insert it into the the pair of wing halves that you're going to have fastened together. It's the typical five easy piece where you make uh, mirrored uh, wing pieces, butt them together here at the rear on the center line being, being careful to make this nice and straight and smooth and the right angle I mean the right uh, don't get it off or other because it affects the whole length of the plane anyway pass it together there and then you can pop that down in there and glue it pin that together and you've got it now I made the I made these tabs a bit long for a reason they stick through the foam at an angle so they they will they will protrude and then you'll have to cut them off just like I did on this one. Well, you can see, you can see them here, 
and then up here they end up just, well, they're not quite underneath the uh, airfoil. And the rest of them are hidden by the airfoil. And you've got some others back up here that come from the upper nacelle, same kind of thing. And that's where I'm going next. The upper nacelle, then it looks like this. And it all just, it's all one, you draw it on there like that, and mind your score fold lines. And then it slips on like that. You just, I like to just tuck this under. Just slide it on. Goes in the notch right there like that. Shish boom off. And then you can see this lower fin piece. It's tab. Goes up through the wing. And notched in here. And then these tabs go on down in their respective slots. And then as this upper part is all actually hinged together, it just doesn't come apart like my doing right that pattern there at the moment. But anyway, that comes together. And this these two halves are glued together. You could you could do it one of two ways. You could make these individually and bring them to this backbone here and glue and tape them down or put them together. Now you don't want to actually glue them together, you just want to tape them together because this piece when it comes in here is coming in at an angle. It, it's uh, this is the inside of the elbow, if you will, inside the angle. So you want to be able to, you want to glue it down onto the thing, or, or glue it at the tabs, and they're notched here at each end to catch that tab. So anyway, now the other thing is on the bottom. What I've done here is, of course, we've got the my typical five easy piece type uh, reverse score that creates the bottom of the fuse, just like I did on the YF23. But then I. I did something that I'm going to start doing on the YF23 as well. As you pull this piece up, it creates the bottom of the fuse. And when you get back to where the motor is, you need just a little bit more pieces here to, as you can see when we look at it this way, you want to be able to catch that mounting piece. And if I, I think I've got one here, I can show the older one. Been mounted a few times. But if that goes on here, like that, that will go on there like that. This comes down, as you can see, and helps to sort of hide it a little bit aerodynamically. As you can see, that pretty much takes care of the you got a little bit of roundness, or whatever exposed there. But by the time this, of course, this isn't. Remember, this material is eighth inch. By the time you have the thickness of the actual foam, the quarter inch thickness, it hides this mount very well, as you can see. And that's just a simple. Score fold. You have this this score fold line here that bends this piece down in relation to the wing, and then you have another score fold line here, and then you have this little. I've got it taped on right here, but this is a little triangular piece that goes on here and makes that bottom. And so that's how you put one together. It's pretty simple. Five easy piece plan. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Let's get this all together. Or maybe before you put this, before you put the nacelle thing on, you want to score on the bottom side. You want to do a score fold here that lets this. Now, what I typically do, reinforce it from this side with tape, cut it. It's actually, it's about a quarter inch outside of the, where this hits, and I put glue in the score fold. I actually put tape on, but I don't put it just, just on the back side, on one side of the line. Glue into the score fold, and then bend it up, bend it up, and push the tape up over the hot glue. And usually I use a, a 3060 triangle or something like that to get that angle. 30 to 30 degrees is adequate. It wants to fatigue a little bit to less than that, as you can see, but that still works. Anyway, that's it. That's how she goes together. And you've seen how she flies.